capping niggas. 30 million views, it ain't like y'all ain't seen it happen to us. Some of y'all be laughing to it. Gruesome hashtag, but a lot of niggas attracted to it. So the machine going overload. Wanna graphic content with ABC still promoted though. I just got an inbox from my man right now. He said they got another angle out. A black man shot on camera. We back another week, another episode. Be wild to be the podcast. Stop Easy shooting us, God damn it! The fuck? <laughs> you did. Shout out Grunge Galato. So Shout out Opio Air. Shout out Opio Air. How y'all right. fellas, man? Hey, man. man how you doing? Live. I'm good. I'm Sue rolling me. up with you. Sue me. <laughs> <laughs> I rule for everybody that's black. Assume me. <laughs> yeah. For the good day. We here. We ain't going nowhere this time. Yes, sir. This time is different. This this has been a hell of a week. So this, I think this is the first time that we did two in one week on purpose. <laughs> Two on purpose. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's definitely <laughs> well rolled up. Yeah, it's, it's needed, man. This shit crazy. All right. Yeah, it's so uh, introduce yourself, nigga. Shit, oh, necessary. Oh yeah, I do do that. No, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm your... gonna skip the intro with shit. The fuck. <laughs> well, we back another week, another episode. Be why we be the podcast. I am your host, regular Ja. Like by the name of Eighty Proof. And if you don't recognize up. that you, you guy's yeah. face, there, boy, Doc. There you go. The OG man. Yeah. <laughs> One of the so one of the original temptations. Yeah. <laughs> it's working, man. You see. You see me. Yeah. <laughs> you did. So yeah, if uh if, if if Dot lag a little bit, y'all gotta bear with him. He in the mountains and shit. He he out there being an essential bit. worker, supplying the country with necessary shit that they need. So essential niggas, man. Niggas be essential. Yeah, yeah we like some beautiful scenery in the background, though. I ain't even mad at it, for real. You wouldn't happen yeah, to be in yeah. Colorado, would you? I mean, you, I mean, you, yeah, I mean, you talk. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I was just gonna say, yeah, yeah. same boat. You know what I mean? That shit, wow. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I went to Salt Lake. Salt Lake man. I went to Salt Lake City. Um, I had a layover there. Shit was like four hours. So me and my cousin hopped out. I was going to L.A. and um, I was gonna say, where the fuck were you going to? You had a layover in Salt Lake. Yeah, we we hopped out and. That shit different. Like it's it's all right out there for real. It me. is. It's beautiful though. Yeah. It's beautiful, dog. I ain't even gonna hold it. It look like but, it. But look, but look, but look, get me the fuck out of here. Feel me? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there's not too many of us <laughs> in Utah. I know it. <laughs> I'm not I, look, I'm not familiar. You feel <laughs> me? I seen what they did to Joy, and I can imagine what they do to a regular black man. They definitely know you're not a Mormon fam. Right, and the last time I was here, it was an earthquake. Oh yeah, oh, yeah we... <laughs> no sir, no sir. All earthquake I'm trying to see is in these streets where we walking. You did, yeah. yeah. Shake some shit up. Speaking of shaking some shit Straight up, like let's get to it. Let's fucking get. Let's let's go ahead first. Let's dive in. Let's talk about. I shit. like to with this fucking blunt with clothes. I am struggling with this blunt. This shit will not close to save my life. Man, so some people. Up. Some people call it riots. Some people call it protests. I call it people being fed to fuck up. I call it necessary. Right, it's necessary. That's, that's <laughs> the only word. Right, for real. That's shit necessary. necessary. Overdue. Long, long overdue. Yeah. Wait, the long, fuck long fucking overdue. We just hit the whole country with a big pile of coffee. Yeah. You know what I'm uh, most of my sentiment is they lucky that motherfuckers only want to hit stores. <laughs> they lucky motherfuckers don't want revenge. Because we kind of do. But oh, yeah. lucky I mean, y'all lucky we smart. Yeah. L yeah. You, you, matter of yeah, fact, I'm glad you said that. Let me rephrase that. They lucky motherfuckers not seeking revenge. Because motherfuckers right. want it, but they lucky motherfuckers is not actively seeking revenge. That's what I'm thinking we, about, like, because we can get into some gangster shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if, we, if they don't know anything tops. about us, look, if they don't know anything about us. They know that 
<laughs> you can handle this like some gentlemen. We can get it. We can get it. For real. For real. I, I actually prefer the gangster shit. <laughs> you did. I'm more comfortable in that direction. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> but but you Malcolm know, over I'm, Martin I'm when it comes to tactics. Not me, brother. I'm Malcolm all the way. Fuck a piece of protest. I say the protest need to start off with some shit burning right out the gate. Don't go <laughs> peaceful and then, then go unruly. Nah, right out the gate. <laughs> I mean, I'm with whatever works at this point. You know what I'm saying? For real. I'm with whatever works. And look, it's working. It is. You know I'm glad saying? you said that, man. For real. I'm with whatever works. People saying that violence don't work and riots don't work. The United States of America is literally built on riots what, and violence. What the fuck y'all think we doing in these other countries? That's like what we the, do every fucking that's day. That's how we win. You know what I mean? As a country. Well, we can't win inside like that. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't get it fucked up. <laughs> but them so saying that shit don't work. I definitely seen uh, Sony, Apple Music. A couple other companies, um, Lyft, Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon, Twitter, Lyft, Twitter. Um, a lot of them stand. They stand in solidarity with the black community. So something that's working. A start. I ain't never and seen. That's a start. Yeah, a start. I've never seen these motherfuckers do none of this shit. Um, when we were just standing right. in the fucking streets getting right. tear gas for no reason. Yeah. Like I didn't see that shit. All right. this. Support that's they don't want us so. to destroy no more Apple stores, nigga. Right, because <laughs> no, because look, it's it's like this, like like Joe said though, it's the money. Because first they would just right. worry about the money. They want to be political, yeah. so they don't fuck up the money. Now the money getting fucked up anyway. So yeah. you might as well open your mouth, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or we gonna keep Straight fucking up, up y'all money, right? <laughs> or we yeah. coming to your money, and when you move it, we coming there too. Hold up, man. I'm getting look. I'm getting energized. Let me yeah, and for, the, and for the people, look, yeah, uh, <laughs> that should do that to you though. It do it to right, you for real, bro. Yeah, and for the people who um was all against that the, the first day with the target and all that shit, the owner, the CEO and owner of that target said that he's staying with the motherfucking protesters. So they, fuck they, whoever feel still, whatever other way about that. They gonna be all right, even if right. they won't. We ain't all right, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I said, look, man, let me, yeah. I'm trying to tell you, bro, for real, though, it's disrespectful. Fuck y'all money. We know the lives. Y'all talking about green paper. Yeah. Right. That you can just bring more of. Right. Y'all do it anyway. Y'all going to make another bill to bail them out anyway. You know what I'm saying? They Why just got bailed out. Chill? Right. Man, come on, man. What you talking about? But the one thing that nobody's been able to debate me on is, when they say a riot and shit don't work, I bring up the Boston Tea Party, yo. Like, right. white people using violence and riots, destroying property to fight against political corruption, what they felt like it was. Right. That shit led to the Revolutionary War, which ended up leading to the United States of America. So and look, you can't tell me that shit don't work. That's, that's literally how we became a country. Yeah. And even after King, the, uh, they rioted, and then what happened six days later? They expedited that process that he been fighting for that whole peaceful time he was doing that. That shit got expedited in six days mm -hmm. from violence. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That what he couldn't get that whole time he was being peaceful. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, don't talk to me about no nah. Mm -mm. No, don't talk to me like it's like your kids. You could talk all day to them motherfuckers. You could talk till you blue in the face. When you lay the hand on that ass, though, it, it hit different. Dumb, it hit different, cuz. Real shit. You might have to tap them sometime. Yeah. yeah. You, know, and you don't mean, always beat your kids as a first resort. Right. We didn't, we right. didn't exactly. do that as a first resort. Exactly. But it's a lot. Nah, all that shit. At all. We learned from. from oh, else we would have been did it. Duh. That's a fact. You know what I mean? We could have did it for no reason whatsoever. Right, right. We could have been on this. That's what y'all don't get. What? I thought you went out, Josh. Nah, I muted so that way I'm not. You know what I mean, oh, I be trying to, I be trying to mute my shit while y'all talking, so that way I ain't.
Uh-huh. What's up? You know what I'm saying? True. What's good? Because you see the tide changing. Mm -hmm. Now you trying to hop on the wagon because you see the tide changing, nigga. Exactly. Exactly. No, no, nah, nah, I ain't allowing. I ain't stepping that either. Cause from Jump Street, I need to know what's popping. No, like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like from from Jump Street, not when you see H chick gonna be just right back to normal. Nah. Mm -mm. Then, yeah. Then you want to change gears. Then you want to be right, like, nah, right, I'm, I'm, on, exactly. yeah, I'm on your right. side. I'm riding with you. Da da da. da. Nah. Right. Well, I want right. to see that energy from day one. Don't try to change it up now because you worry. Right. Now you scared. Right. 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 Exactly. You see, mm -hmm. you see, the shit is actually changing. So now you're like, mm, well, maybe I should. Uh, hey, yeah, bitch. I, <laughs> look, man, don't get me mm -hmm. wrong, bro. Look, wait till I'm back in the city. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real talk. <laughs> wait till I'm back in the city. For real. Mm -hmm. This shit, bro. I need some. I need some of that. Uh-huh. <laughs> I need parts. <laughs> Cause on some G shit, as soon as I see you know motherfuckers that's trying to twist the narrative and make it go left, mm -hmm. then then that's when you are gonna see what you don't want to see from them. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Exactly. I'm gonna direct that where it need to be. You know what I'm saying? But they've been doing. We ain't gonna bro. let y'all. Right. They are. We're not, we're not about to let y'all twist this shit, nigga. They got videos of cops up in Boston who saying that niggas was breaking in their cars and shit. People got them on video it them. It themselves. Exactly. It is them. Yeah. The That's same shit they've been doing to us though. They've been doing that. I seen a video where they where they drug a guy to the ground and they put the weapon in his hand. They put a stick in his hand to make it look like. Man, well, that see that that kind of shit ain't surprising. It's the same thing like that cop in South Carolina did. Well, what was it? He shot old boy in the back, uh, Walter Scott. He shot old boy in the back, and then you know oh, he yeah. knew he was being recorded, and then he walked up and then threw the taser in dude's hand to see like he was to grab the taser. Yeah. yeah, they do that shit all the time, man. That's that's, that's nothing new. They've been doing little sneak, creepy ass. We gonna plant drugs on people, sneaky shit. And we've been saying this shit for years, but now right. you know the dynamic. And that's why society's acting like we just like this shit is just something we made up. Right. This shit wild, wild, man. And that's why though, that's why when niggas is like, don't that's why niggas is like, don't record me. I'm like, nah, we need that. Yeah. We mm -hmm. need that. Mm -hmm. That's part of the reason why we got here. True. You know what I'm saying? That's part of the reason why we got because you can see over and over and over and feel that emotion building, building, and building from what you're seeing over and yeah. over. Not just hearing about it and, and visualizing it in your own mind, you know what I'm saying? Thinking about it and how it may look to you. No, we actually seeing how the fuck it really is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, like, absolutely. Nah, we need that. But see, this is what I'm going to do. But this is what I'm going to do. If I got my phone, I'm going to tell you this. You're going to see my phone traveling with me. Mm -hmm. That shit gonna oh, yeah. be like this. <laughs> like fuck around about body cam to wear. I'm gonna be on my way. I'm gonna be on my way to the ass. You know what I mean? Nah, but for right. hey, you, right. hey, you got a point you know though. You, we should we should start investing in body cam. Just have them shits on all the time. Ourselves. Uh huh. Dash dashboard cameras and all that shit in the whip. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Just to just to record all the little sneaky right, really, shit yeah. they do. Cause you got to think yeah. about how much this. Before the age of uh, cell phones, before smartphones, how much shit did they get away with that we weren't yeah. able to record because cameras weren't everywhere like they are today? Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's been a thousand George Floyds. This ain't the first time this shit happens. There's been a thousand, time. millions of them. Come on, yo. You just didn't hear about it. Yeah, and exactly. Exactly. That's, that's what I said. Life. I said I that shit. Yep, and that's why. Yeah, right. your sound ain't on no and, and look, and look, on some real shit, it's been a thousand of us that's been that way, but we ain't died. You feel me? Yeah. Like <clears throat> we've been prejudiced against and we ain't died. We've been assaulted. We just didn't mm -hmm. die. Mm -hmm. But we got trauma from it. That yeah. we carry on with the rest of our fucking life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That hit this so point. We ain't allowed like, to have trauma though. We grown men now. You was doing this since I was a younger. <laughs> Boy, you doing this boy. Now you gonna catch this, right? Yeah, true indeed. Now we the men.
It ain't even about me though. That's I was telling you, I can't wait. Man. This shit going on, man. I was just looking at my son like he can't grow up in this shit. I refuse to let my son grow up in this shit, yo. I refuse. So if I, I gotta sacrifice so that my son can live peacefully, exactly. I'll do that, yo. Cause he gonna live peacefully. Yep. And that yo, that's what I told Kyle. I said, I told Kyle, I said, look, man, first that's why I was wishy, because I'm like Man, I'm gonna be in my bubble. You know, I'm gonna grind. I'm gonna get my money. But then I'm like, God, fuck, hold up. If it was any other time my people needed me, needed any of us, it's now, nigga. Now is the time. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. We were talking, applying pressure to each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need to do something. We need to do something. We need to do something. That's all we ever been hearing from each other. We need to do this. We need to do something. We need to do something. Now niggas is busting moves. Now niggas on the sidelines like, hey, man, what are you doing? Dude? Bitch, if you on the sidelines, shut whoa. up, bitch. Shut up. Shut, shut up and just stay there. Get, get in the yeah. game. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah. So we got to be weary of niggas like right. that. Niggas that, niggas that look like game. us, but they're not, really, the field. they not really. They're not really on the team. They're not really. I just said that shit yesterday. So they gotta, need to bring back the race draft, yo. We gotta yeah. get rid of some of these whitewashed black people, fam. Exactly. We gotta we gotta usher them niggas out. When we see them niggas, we gotta call them niggas the fuck out. Cause it's a lot of them niggas. It's a lot of agents, bro. A lot of niggas that's working against us. They don't give a fuck. All they care about is trying to appease master and kiss their ass, bro. We gotta watch out for them niggas, bro. All niggas ain't invited to the cookout. Hey, I got so he said, he said, look. Ja, what is right. going on with your sound, my man? Say, look, I trade you yeah. this thing and that nigga. I'm on mute, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we thought you, thought you were talking, yeah, because I could see you moving around. Nah, nah. Yeah. <laughs> I had it on mute. And I drove <laughs> all the way to the motherfucking store and didn't grab what I wanted. Hang on, what the fuck? Hang on one second. But, uh, yeah, man, this shit. Like I said, all this shit right here is exposing to me is showing... A lot of these white people's true colors. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know what I'm saying? By no stretch of the imagination, I ain't anti-white. I don't give a fuck. I mind my own motherfucking business. But I am pro-black. You know what I'm saying? Pro-black till the, till the day I die. But all this is showing me is a lot of these people's true agenda, especially younger white people who you know I thought were cool. You know, I'm thinking you all right. You know That's the worst part. And, and I expect it from the 50, 60 year old white people. I expect exactly. That mm -hmm. Yeah, That's true. Exactly. Yeah, like that. True. When it comes from them, I'm not even surprised. I'm like, okay, I'm that's your era. Yeah, that's yeah. your era. You know what I'm saying? Right. But when you in your 20s and 30s and you want some, you know what I'm saying, some wild racist shit, I'm just looking like, for real, my nigga? That's what we doing? That's what we doing in 2020? I, I, th like, I thought we was better than that. Exactly. <laughs> that's what we doing? You proved me wrong, though. You know, but shit. You watch these live videos, man, you see these white people in the comments, they just say the most reckless shit, and it's like, come on, man. It's not even... And this is why people be yeah, in. because because they ain't got to be enforced, bro. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the nature of the coward. That's the na that's the error. It's the nature of the coward because nigga ain't gonna pull up right on them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what that that shit my face, yo. Come out here and say that shit. To my, right. Come out here and say that shit. If you bold, go say, look, go to the protest and say it. They're the same niggas when they see us. Look, they say the when street. they see us in public, they just give us the look. Mm -hmm. You want across yeah. the street? They just look at you. They know, because they, they know. Like, yo, you one, of, you one of them goddamn super cowards, huh? Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's either that or those some niggas that get real bold yeah, and come man. out there with, with that samurai sword and get folded up like that nigga in that video that was out there chasing people with that samurai sword. <laughs> yeah, that, that nigga got folded the fuck up. Uh, and see, they got me. Huh. They got me on that though, because they do shit like this. They got me. First video, first video I seen is just everybody stomping on the nigga. Yeah. So I'm like, damn, that's fucked up. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. But then look, then somebody posted on my shit, like, hold up, nah, you ain't see what happened before that. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, click on this. I clicked on that shit. I said, oh hell yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the balls from all the serious shit. Why we speaking about beating niggas up? I know y'all saw. I know y'all saw what J.R. Smith did. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw oh, that facts. Shit. Oh facts. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, I saw yeah, that shit. Didn't work. He, he, saw that. he folded them up real quick. No, no. The funny that shit, shit was about very that, necessary. Like he, he preempted. Keep going. 
he he preempted that video by putting out a video letting you know he already fucked some nigga up and the video gonna come out look, soon. You gonna, like, yeah, Yo, you gonna see it. I beat his ass. I did it. <laughs> yeah, I beat this nigga ass and the video coming soon. <laughs> Now let me tell you why I did it. Like, <laughs> I was at my house, minding my motherfucking business, in a residential neighborhood, and the, the white boy broke the window of my truck. He won't buy no businesses. Like this ain't got nothing to do with race. I was in a residential neighborhood. Yeah, ain't nothing. Like, in, that, y'all like, niggas is not looting out here. Like why are you? What the fuck is you out here for? Ain't no protesting going on out here. Like, <laughs> no. These right. niggas is in like Beverly Hills or some shit. Like what the fuck is you doing out here, bro? <laughs> no. You can cancel that. The funniest shit was, the nigga said, I mean, he ain't know who window he broke, so he got his ass whooped. (laughs) Right like that. I bet he know now. That ain't some nigga shit. (laughs) That'll that'll be the last window you break randomly, nigga. That's some nigga shit. No, bro. How how (laughs) your luck gotta be (laughs) if... Out of all niggas who you run into, it's motherfucking J.R. Smith off J.R. Of Smith of all <laughs> niggas, off the Henny. You couldn't have asked for a worse situation. Hey, first bro, team, that, um, was, <laughs> that was car- that was karma in the air, bro. You had yeah, that that's karma. Bro. Team, <laughs> you had that ass woman coming, bro. That's like running around our test, chilling in the hood. You just run up on him. Not with you. <laughs> <laughs> right. 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 Hey, he lucky right. them niggas won't together because they is right. kind of cool. So you should have picked LeBron. Like if you'd have broke LeBron's truck window, you you might have got away with it. Yeah, you would have made a little video or whatever, and then like, yeah. Yeah, people did. Somebody that. else, look, somebody else might have fixed you. you know yeah, so, somebody else would have fixed. That's what would have happened. Mm-hmm. But nah, he's lucky like got them Artest won't with J.R. Smith, because you know them niggas cool. But he's lucky yeah. them niggas won't together. Run right up on Gilbert Arenas yeah. like that. Uh, <laughs> nah, he, <laughs> Matt Bond. He's lucky, he lucky J.R. had the yeah. no white boys with him. Yeah. If that was Matt Bonds. Yep. Matt Bonds. J.R. about to keep going. <laughs> they but I respect you. everybody that was with him, because everybody was with him was like, they were trying to stop people from recording and shit, because they know. What type of situation yeah. he can get into for that shit? Right. Yeah, so he was like, right. respect this man's oh, privacy yeah. and shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> he said, I don't give a fuck. Right. Yeah, that shit. Nigga, the league ain't even playing right now, no way. Right. You got nothing else better to do but beat the fuck out of somebody. Right. Fuck right. that right. shit. Right. Coach, I got my exercise. I chased him down the block. <laughs> <laughs> that shit funny. Hey, that nigga had free agent energy. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh legs. <laughs> <laughs> they got fresh legs right. in the season. Yeah, yeah, fresh legs. <laughs> For real. What? Uh, you got to, amidst all this bullshit going on, man, you got to find some kind of humor or something because this shit will tear you apart if you don't. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. That's what without we Without a doubt. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that just shows you you know, how resilient our people are anyways. We can always find a little humor in something, even though these people out here, you know what I'm saying? Killing us yeah. indiscriminately, like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then these other motherfuckers on the other side is trying to find and ways they, to yeah. justify that shit. Like, oh, oh, well, he was on drugs. Oh, well, right. well he shouldn't have committed a crime. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like, come on, man, miss me with right. that shit. I don't give a fuck what right. he did. You know what I'm saying? If you can arrest Dylan Roof <laughs> and he done executed nine people in the church, you can arrest Daniel Cruz, that right. dude that went at Walmart in San Antonio or whatever the fuck it was in Texas and executed 12 people. You can arrest them with no problems. Healthy. Right. They took hurt, them to a up. Burger King, my nigga. They went and had lunch with the nigga. Like, he was cool. Exactly. Exactly my point. So, it don't... I don't right. want to hear that narrative. This is a lot going on, man. And everybody got an opinion. Yeah, but see, some people's opinion hey. gonna get them gonna get them snuffed the fuck out. Yeah, you, know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some people's opinion, like I said, you're entitled. Attention is real out here. Yeah, you can get freedom of speech in America. You can say whatever the fuck you want, but you're not free from consequence, my nigga. So you can say whatever. Nowhere. You want. Be prepared to deal with the repercussions of what happens when you start with that bullshit. Uh-huh. Somebody gonna snuff you the fuck out. Uh-huh. And niggas ain't you know look, niggas on the internet. Don't play. They'll find out what you live. They get you fired. Right. You know what? Nah, for real. In, a white girl, a a white girl hit me up in the inbox like, what do I say? What did yeah, you mean? They, they go to the stream, you know what I'm saying? The white girl, she was like, what, what do I say? 
Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, black folks telling me I don't know, you know, I would never feel she was like, I, I understand. I, I don't know. So what do I say? Like, what I'm trying to help. What do I do? I was like, look, sensitive times in the kingdom right now. You know what I'm saying? This is this what you do. Look, <laughs> I'm like, whatever you do do or you do say, you got to say it straight from the heart and pure. From the heart. Because mm -hmm. whatever way it go, you'll be able to live with it. You know what I'm saying? You'll be able exactly. to live with it. Yeah, ain't exactly. no agenda. Ain't no extra. You ain't trying to be extra in it. So whatever it pure that come to you purely, do that. Yeah. So if you no don't really feel like go, fuck the police. Don't be out here screaming fuck the police, but you gotta don't you gotta be out here trying to flex because we gonna feel the vibe. Yeah. Yep. But just keep it real. Like if you feel like the situation yeah, fucked up and just say you feel like the shit fucked right? up. To the white people like that, I feel like say if you piece. ever in a situ exactly. yeah, speak your piece. But if you're ever in a situation where you can step in, so say there was some white people out there with George Floyd when that shit was going on, they can step up to them officers without getting shot. Right. So you take that initiative because we mm -hmm. can't do that all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's the situation where you right. need to help. Don't don't just right. stand by and watch and say how fucked up it is. Step in, walk up to them officers because they're not gonna shoot you on camera. Mm -hmm. They're not. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, and I. I told her, I'm like, look, man, I can't, I can't, you know, tell you how every black person gonna react to you because it's gonna be different. You know what I'm saying? Because and you gotta just accept that that's the times we're in. You know what I mean? Like you gotta accept that. And if you really for the cause, you gotta have that empathy to know that, nigga, it's deeper than yourself, your personal self. You thinking you just white and they talking to you and he's looking at you. No, it's deeper than that. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Niggas yeah. is on fire inside. You feel me? We on fire, bro. So don't throw yourself in the fire pain. if you're not willing to understand what may come from that fire. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? Cause because we we fed up. We fed the fuck up. Yeah, I'm more about mm -hmm. the actions so, in the world. Ain't trying to listen to you say shit. Yeah, I don't really. Right. I'm not. I'm not that I ain't trying to listen to you say right. shit. I'm not mad if you speak your piece, but words don't really mean shit to me at this point. So I need your actions. Like if you, if you, you're white and you right. know people that, that for so long, bro. don't be around them. Stop hanging around the racist white people that you know because you yeah, put yourself you know, and yeah, you see you that put you by association. By yeah, see, you feeding into it. see, I said I said that same shit to an, uh, shit. Uh, a white friend of mine. I said that same shit. I'm like, look, if you're not speaking out against racism, you in support of that shit. And he's like, what do you mean? I said, if you got family members, you got friends, and they say some wildly racist shit, and you just like, oh, well, I'm not going to say nothing because I don't, don't want to risk being alienated. You know what I'm saying? You you part of the problem, my nigga. He's like, he's like, no, that's not true. I said, all right, for, let me give you, you an example. Made a decision. I said, let me give you an example. If somebody was sitting there talking about some fucked up pedophilia shit, would you let them sit there and say that shit or would you shut that shit the fuck down? You're going to be like, nah, I don't want to hear that Come shit because you don't agree with it. Because you know it's fucked up, right? You know it's fucked up. You, gonna, you know it's right, fucked yeah, up. Right. So you need to treat that right. same that same energy right. you got for that. You need to do the same thing with racism. I don't give a fuck if it's your brother, your mother, your cousin, your friend. Hey, man, I ain't trying to hear that shit. You need to shut that shit the fuck up. Be a real ally. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So... But, See, yeah. And I can say, I can honestly say I do that shit because I be around niggas who make white jokes. And, and it's ha -ha funny sometimes, like, but when you say some real I, racist white shit, I be like, nah, my nigga, all white people not like that. Yo. Yeah, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to hear that. I'm not trying to hear that. Uh, that supremacy shit from nobody. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. like all white people not like that. There are some out there, but I know for a fact that they're not all. Like yeah, that. yeah. So, so yeah, I'm not. I I'm got, not I got one. Shit. I got one itself. I got a white homeboy himself. He just called me. And this nigga was like, cause he, you know, he got a black kid, he got two black kids, you know what I'm saying? And besides, even besides that, the nigga, the nigga got three older black sisters. And then besides that, I'm just, I'm just dragging y'all into how he's deep rooted in this shit in his heart, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? The nigga called me like, yeah, I made a post, you know what I mean? Talking about Black Lives Matter, blah blah blah. And my dad commented on the shit. And the nigga called me, bro. That nigga said I'm about to steal on my dad. Like for real, cause I don't play that shit. Like you, you gotta understand, like Jones pop straight up. The nigga said, if you if you disagree with what's in this video, you part of the problem. The nigga told us pop straight like that. You know what I mean? And that's 
And, you know, I had to talk him out of fighting his dad on some real shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm See, like, I, I, I respect I that. Because at I any point, though, right. man, that could be one of his fucking grandkids right. in, that, right. in that video. You know what I'm saying? True. Exactly. True. That's what he said. But that's what he's saying. He like, he like, that's your grandkids, nigga. The fuck is you talking about? You know what I'm saying? He like, bro, mm -hmm. what are you doing? You know what I mean? He said, like, I don't give a fuck who you are. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be aunt, auntie. Cousin, brother, sister, nigga, he didn't give a fuck. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He's like, this shit wrong, bro. This shit is fucked up. Yeah, yeah, you know wrong. What I mean? He got passion about it too, and that's why I'm like, right. That's why when they speak about white people, and you know what I'm saying, I know some that, you know, that improved it time and time and time again before this even popped off. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Before yeah. the last yeah. shit popped off, before the last shit, before that, you know what I mean? So it's like, you know what I mean? So it's not all, but we catching up to the ones. It is. We're gonna find mm. Here's a head out of You look at motherfucker. Yo, but no, he, he's got a point, <laughs> and, I, and 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 I respect that man for wanting to swing on his pops. You know, some people might not say, you know, agree with that, but I respect that because there ain't no gray area with this shit. I feel like some people try to turn this shit into oh. It's nah, uh, no. left versus right, uh, Republican versus Democrat. No, nah, this ain't this that that ain't nothing. This ain't nothing political. This has right. purely to do with life and death. There's no gray area. You know what I'm right. saying? You either support me living right. and giving the same right. liberties and freedoms in this country as you, or you want me to die. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You either support me or you don't. There's no gray area. Mm -hmm. So nah, fuck out of here with that. All lives yeah. matter. I want to hear none of that shit. Yeah, shit, bro. and that's you why I told him. That should be like, like, come on. Yeah, man, how the fuck you gonna sit here and not <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, like uh, What do you want me to talk over, niggas? Fuck. I mean, we all we're all having conversations. We we seem to get through. <laughs> you real, real light skinned today, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you sitting there in silence. I almost feel like you're an op. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, they can say you're an agent, bro. Who are you smiling for, B? <laughs> Number one, I put this shit together for niggas that have a voice. What kind of motherfucking host would I be if I put this shit in for niggas that have a voice and I talk over everybody? Come on, man. Tighten up. It don't mean the world don't need your opinion, B. Tight oh, they gonna get it. It's coming. <laughs> hey, y'all give me one Continue, second. Continue, motherfucker. Give me one second. I'm about to grab me a drink real quick. Dude, what you got to do? <laughs> <laughs> funny, man. <laughs> you gonna stop with this Willie Lynch bullshit stop too, man. <laughs> Niggas with y'all whole motherfucking Willie Lynch mind frame. It don't uh, even matter, man. I'm on white skin people's side too. Y'all with us. <laughs> you look like a nigga named Willie. <laughs> I be that. I be that. I'm gonna fight to get free too. I know that's right. I know that's right. Y'all seen the uh, video? America, man. Burn America the down. Up on the nigga. Fuck, fuck all this shit, man. All this shit can be replaced. We built this shit anyway. Fuck. Yeah, it can. I'm upside it down. Can. At the end of the day, you're right, man. It person. can be replaced. All right, now you good. Yeah. You good. Yeah. All that shit can be replaced. Oh shit! So it's like <clears throat> if you really that's make the it whole thing, man, burn it down and start all over from the beginning. And my thing is, my major thing is, is no, like because they ain't appreciated no mm -hmm. way. People who say violence isn't the answer. What what is the answer? What has worked? So and my thing, all right, I'm glad you brought that up, yo. What the fuck do you want us to do? What do you want me to do? I'm glad you brought that up because every time I ask anybody what the motherfucking solution is, or at least an idea on the solution, or a hint, whatever the fuck the case is. Niggas never have no kind of insight, ever. I don't know. It's always I don't know. Exactly. I know. <laughs> you just don't want to hear the way I think. So if you don't know, then shut the fuck up. If you <laughs> fuck don't know, up. then shut the fuck up. You... If you can't tell me what to do that's right, you can't tell me I'm wrong. For real. Exactly. Because if you... Nope. It, if you don't know what's right, then you don't know what the fuck is wrong. <laughs> How you know some shit is wrong? And you and you don't and know what the fuck you, you would do. You don't know what you would do. 
And I've got everybody talking this uh this this prayer this prayer shit. One thing about it, I ain't no motherfucking religious person, but I do know that book, and I do know that even Jesus got down flipped some tables. Even Jesus got fed up with some shit. (laughs) Even Jesus got fed up with some shit and 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 had to do what he had to do. So. What's the fact? Well, look at look no, at Sodom no and Gomorrah. They burnt down the whole of the Bible that's city. convenient and shit. Sodom and yeah. Gomorrah was so bad they burnt down the whole right. shit. Yeah, they burnt the whole shit. They told them like, don't look back. So what you think we, we bought? Told them burn it down and don't look back. What's the yeah. What's the best way to rebuild something? Destroy. You gotta destroy, destroy. The rebuild. You gotta destroy the rebuild. Because if you that's just build on top of the foundation that's already set, you just build on top of the shit that's already here. The, the, the motherfucking hatred, here. the racism, all that shit. Then you got to destroy yeah. everything from the motherfucking core. And it's going to end up, and it's going to, and it's going to end up eventually going back to the same. Because mm-hmm. nothing was supremely yeah. altered and where yeah. the same foundations are still in place. You feel me? Yep. You got to destroy the foundation, mm-hmm. nigga. Like, straight up. You can't build a house on a bad foundation. Mm-hmm. Awesome. the blaze. What, what my nigga Kyle say? Burn all this shit up. Burn all. <laughs> Burn it all. Burn all of it. You heard, you said, you heard Kill Mugger, I'm coming man. with the lighter fluid. <laughs> <laughs> you heard Kill Mugger. Burn all that shit. For real, though. Burn all that shit. Like, yep. I wonder how black yeah. cops feel, yo. And he had a point. But not even... Not even just black cops. I wonder how the good cops feel. No, the the good black cops. Because I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Right. Yeah. A lot of run-ins that I've had with black cops been worse than a lot of these fucking white police officers. That's why I said I just put good cops in general. A lot of these motherfuckers just as bad. Yeah. Yeah, Like you watching your people do this shit. My thing is, all right. So my thing is, if they say it's more, it's, it's more good cops than bad cops, right? Why the fuck they scared to speak up? I know most of it is in fear of being blackballed and all that shit, but if it's more of y'all than them, yeah. then they can't blackball yeah. some shit that outnumbers them. Unless you know it's at I'm the saying? top. Unless it's corrupt at the top. If it's yeah. corrupt at the top, you can't stop it. It is, Which bro. it is. That's why we're in this boat. Is. 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 That's why we're in this boat. You know what I mean? So when I ask people what to do, they but usually give you a That's why matter what you do with sea level. Yeah, that's why Killer Mike idea was fucking genius. He's the only person Mike, that because I didn't watch the entire pushed, like the voting shit. I need it's only eight minutes. I needed you to watch that. So when you <laughs> we go we go rediscuss it whenever you get a chance. But yeah, I mean we can um, I can play nah, it on the phone. Right so I mean we can, I mean. <laughs> no, tell me what he said. Hey right, man, you know like I'm pulling it up right now. I mean, it's a. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to, cause, cause, I'm cause like, it's an eight minute yeah, video. Yeah. So to sum up an eight minute video in like, <laughs> in like thirty forty five seconds is not easy. You know what I mean? Um, but no, nah, he pretty much was saying. Give him a just. Give him a just. Uh, he he supports. Yeah, he, he, I'm listening to it now as we talk. Supports and understands. He supports and understands. His shit was, it was basically aimed at Atlanta. That's why I don't want to misquote it. Because I don't want to sound plan, like he said, plan, strategize, or Banks. organize. Facts. Facts. Hit the voting yeah, booths. You, you get the motherfuckers like out of there, especially this year. Strategize, yeah. organize. Right. All right. So it, I, I'm going to listen to this whole interview. because I Basically, I trying to right. put more organization to this. You know what I'm saying? Um, here's I'm my thing. to put more organization to this shit. You want us to get out and vote, right? We got out and vote. Atlanta has nah. a black mayor. Yeah, it ain't just the presidency, but most of it, most of it when he was talking to at he, it was a Atlanta, uh, it was the mayoral conference. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was mainly to saying, like, Atlanta, but it kind of reflected the whole has, movement that's going on. But that's what I'm saying. So so start in Atlanta. Atlanta has black people in places of power. Their their mayor is a black woman. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. niggas are still getting lynched in Piedmont Park, right? 
mm-hmm. so we vote on state level. You know what I'm saying? Right. You get somebody black in state power, it's still fucked up. We voted. We got a black president in. The shit didn't fucking change. So voting hasn't worked. That's a different conversation, but you you like, right. How, how much do you want us to vote? You, we would have to take over all of Congress. We can't take over all of Congress and the presidency and have all 50 states under our control. We can't. So we put people in the in the highest the places that we can and it still hasn't worked. We can. It's just implausible. It's a problem. It's not impossible. We definitely can. <laughs> we don't have enough Wait. voting power. It's just not possible. Vote. Like, literally, so. because of the numbers, well, how no, no, numbers, not all 50 states. Yeah, yeah. So, not yeah. all 50 states. I mean, not just black people, but we have enough voting power to impact change. Not just black people, but the people who align themselves with black people, the motherfucking Hispanics and the motherfucking right, Latinos right. that don't want to admit that right. they're black, but they fucking black. The, the fucking Asians, like Damn. all these same. Yeah. You know why they don't give a fuck? Because they're not impacted like black people are impacted. That's what I'm saying. It's not that they don't give a fuck. They're just not impacted as bad. And a lot of them don't give a fuck. They're like, I mean, those like white, white people hate them. Like, racist white people hate them just as much as they hate us. The only difference yeah. is they don't block them like they block us. It's easy for Asians. Uh, this is what I said. Night. This is what I said. I... I had a conversation with my homegirl yesterday, and I was saying this. The Constitution, the amendments, they need to be updated. Everything else in our life has updated with the times, if you think about it. Everything else. Everything else is mm-hmm. updated with the times, to the way we live, to the way we go to work, to where we eat, to where we raise our kids, what's in the schools. Everything updates with the times, but the, when they do these injustices to us, they go off shit that's been 1860, 1840, mm-hmm. 1810. Y'all going mm-hmm. off this shit. But when they got this shit, y'all mended in y'all way. Now, they have been amending shit with the weed. You know what I'm saying? Now, they have been doing that and that, but that's money. That's because it's money. You feel me? Mm-hmm. That, our lives ain't got nothing to do with the money. That's why they ain't amending it. You know what I mean? That's why they ain't amending these laws and shit. I agree with you. Because it ain't affecting their pockets. You know what I'm saying? And that's why we're applying pressure right now, you know what I mean, to affect their pockets to where they can make the laws that affect our well-being. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, y'all want to decriminalize shit, and that's great for us. But y'all yeah. only doing it because it's great for y'all, too. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, yep. This, so they, not, uh, they would never amend the constitution. With us ain't great for y'all. You know what I mean? Yeah. They would. They now, would never. Of course they would. They would never update the constitution. Of course they would. I mean, that be, that gives them every be, ground yeah. to fall on, like what for the white man being white. superior. I'm not talking white supremacy, but for the white man to be on top. That, that's what the constitution is built for. Mm-hmm. So. When all those fails, they can always fall back. Well, this is the founding of this country. This is what we stand right. on as this country. We agreed on this 200 years ago. We're sticking to this. So they'll never do that. And again, with the weed shit, you're right. It is helping us because we're not going to end up with as many jail charges and shit. Right. But in actuality, they're taking money out of the hands of the street dealer. And it's not like niggas can just go get dispensaries. Right. Dispensaries cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars to open whole whole types of right, licenses. So, so, and you got to be like approved said, from, from, to my understanding. Man, you know the game. It's so and hard it's to get an extra taxes on that. That's what I'm saying. And you got to be approved. So you, uh, and unless and you fucking, getting extra taxes off that because they shutting stuff yeah. down in LA. Yeah. Unless you, unless you a rapper or athlete or a prominent black face, you can't just be no regular black nigga with money to go get approved because they going to, they going to, that shit is X'd out. They're not gonna let that happen. So yep. they never gonna change that shit. Saying. You know what I'm saying? They only been doing things, changing things that benefit them. That's my main point. You know what I mean? And but now it's like y'all we're gonna make y'all change things because it's gonna benefit y'all mm-hmm. to stop getting y'all shit fucked up. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna yeah. benefit y'all to put the money back in y'all pocket. You know what I'm saying? 
So now and I'm gonna start exposing these companies and who they donate. Well, y'all gonna have no choice. That's what right. I'm gonna do. Like, right. I'm gonna really do my because you know people put out those lists every year. Like, oh, this company donated to Trump or this company donated to such and such. I'm gonna really start doing my research into that shit. Right, and I'm not right. gonna support those companies right, anymore. Right. And I think if well, we yeah, all do today, black I people, just that's a great start. Yeah, I just seen today. Um, actually, was it Wendy's Pizza Hut and Taco Bell? Too. Yeah, I seen Wendy's Pizza Hut. And Wendy's Taco Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. <laughs> Wendy's Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. Um, Wendy's gave the CEO of Wendy's gave Trump four hundred k. Yeah. And so I haven't actually done the research to see that it's official, but I did see that on the internet too. So Wendy's Pizza Hut and Taco Bell or might be me, out for me because I'm out here. So I mean, that's a start yeah. for us. As and why we speaking on people um, not up. speaking up and supporting black? Yeah, while we speaking on supporting black and not people not speaking up, what about these fucking uh, comedians, uh, B. Simone and Desi Banks, that I'm not sure how hip y'all is to the shit that they said the other day, but... Yeah, I peeped it. I seen it was going through some shit. I, uh, it ain't even just comedians. Those are artists, ass. too. That's what they said. They counseled our ass, bro. Oh, yeah, they're comedians, they're artists, they fucking black CEOs, and the, the reason why I don't respect it is because both of them, both of them have made their money and their living and gain their fame off of making humor out of black stereotypical situations. Shit that black, they use their black relativity to pander to a black audience to get what they want. Yeah, but they are, won't stand beside these same black are. audiences when it's time to motherfucking stand up. Which is wild, man. Yeah. Same with these musicians. It's the same with yeah. the white musicians too. Yeah, and then Shorty, um, she say she can't, she can't be canceled. Fully don't validate her or some stupid shit she had said. Like right, she didn't yeah. get her whole motherfucking that. career off of social that. media. Come on, man. Oh. As I'm reading B Simone's comments, they weren't. Come on, I mean, nah, they weren't. So they saying. weren't horrible. So let me read you. I mean, her from backlash her to the backlash. Now her backlash to the backlash is what fucked her up. I don't uh, think it was her initial comments. But go ahead. Oh, uh, because just reading it, it was like she said, "Doing your part is more than social media. Doing your part is loving your neighbors, praying for your enemy," which I don't agree with. But. Um, call is more than calling your black friends and checking on them, signing petitions, donating, meditating, looking in the mirror and becoming better. Before I try to lead, let me examine myself. It's not a bad statement. And the follow-up statement was, I'm not living to please man. I'm here to please God at the end of the day. I'm a Christian. I'm a God-fearing. I have to answer to him. I'm going to ask myself, what would Jesus do? Not as an angry black woman. Not what an angry black woman would do. Uh, I am angry, but I'm also trying to be godly. So I'm not even mad at that. that. Not, I don't see it in her backlash. Yeah, no, hers. Yeah, well, I think I think I believe she deleted them. Um, okay. But no, so her back, her her responses to people like disowning that shit or not trying to hear that shit was what motherfuckers decided is the reason why she should be canceled. Damn, I can't get this shit. <laughs> this sentence out. <laughs> it's the reason why most uh, a lot of motherfuckers felt like she should have been canceled. It was her responses <laughs> to the responses. Yeah. I'm starting to see where people addressed it. Right, right. Absolutely. Yeah. That's why I say when you make certain statements, don't you put it on be, your religion. You gotta be like, emotionally. Yeah, definitely don't do that. I, th I think that's where the second statement was fucked up. Like, because you you get out here and, and the type of comedy and shit you do, clearly not godly comedy of a Christian woman. So this can't oh. be you drawing the line as far as black people getting. So I agree. Yeah, with that. she's talking about sucking dick and she's acting like the the stereotypical black woman. I ain't gonna say you know what I'm saying she's acting like the stereotypical. Like how they see us as a hood rat, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like that's that's her shit. The same shit with bro, like the the dude, like he, all his shit is about the hood, growing up in the hood, and this, that, and the third. It's just like, how the fuck can you make your living off of off of black situations 
and all this shit. But when it comes to motherfucking black liberation, you're not a hundred percent down. Yeah, I I agree with that. Yeah, I, I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit. Yeah, I'm with you on that. It's a lot you don't of like it's, you with it's us, like, and then when it's time to be with us, you're not with us. Yeah, yeah you cool either in or you out. You're not gonna come. You're only with us. When, when, yeah, you're not gonna come just to the, to the pool party just to put man, your feet in the ahead. pool. Either you swimming or you gonna get the fuck out. All right. Yeah, cool. J jumped on Twitter talking about showing imagine up, how mixed children feel. Yeah. Imagine yeah, I got a mixed child. <laughs> that nigga don't see none of this shit. And it ain't nothing. Oh, I, don't get me wrong. I know that mixed children go through shit. That's not what I'm not taking that from them at all. But it's not. Yeah. It was like <laughs> no, nah, I know. I, I personally feel. I personally just feel like <laughs> eventually, as a mixed child, you to identify as one or the other. Like eventually. <laughs> mm. Well, I mean. Depending on I mean, depending on how like mixed this. and, and what your mix look like, it's, you it's can't the best situation. you can't pick what you identify with. Right. Because it's mixed motherfuckers that's darker than me, and I'm not at all mixed. You know what I'm saying? But it's people that's mixed that's darker than I am. Right. They don't get to the, they identify with black. I it's mean, as far as culturally, I can't, I can't tell them what the to biggest. identify with, but the world sees you as motherfucking black. Right. Regardless. Ja, we need to check your uh, see the biggest the biggest right thing with. A mixed child. The biggest thing with a mixed child is they get to actually see that you can get genuine love from each side at an early age. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. they get that benefit, you know what I'm saying, of that. You know what I'm saying? We learn it as we go and as we experience with different people here and there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They learn it mm-hmm. as they come up from the world, period. You know what I'm saying? From their first time, they open their eyes. So it's different. It don't, it don't stabilize mm-hmm. them to feel like, you know what I mean, how we feel. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. that's the biggest thing I got for my son, you know, because he don't be trying to pick side. You like who you like, you love who you love, period. Yeah. He learned that early. Like, nigga, I like you because I yeah. like you. Because I like and that should be everybody. Like, you know what I'm saying? You mean. It's not like, like yeah. you learn that early. Oh, you mean I don't, I don't like being around him. You know what I mean? That motherfucker me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that motherfucker nasty. <laughs> oh, that motherfucker show me love, period. Come on. He learned that from jump shit. Yeah, like, you know that's, the yeah, that like me, we gotta, yeah, that's the girl that whooped me. That's the girl that got that food, so, yeah. Right. <laughs> right, right, right. I don't want to go to that grandma's house. house. I want to go to that grandma's house. I like what she be cooking. Right. <laughs> The other grandma don't let us go outside and she like the whoopers and then this one, she let us play the game and shit. So I was yeah. going there. She always got snap. <laughs> going to the house with the snap. Right, right. <laughs> we can hey, we can stay up late. You know what I mean? Oh grandma be like, nine o'clock, get your ass to the bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the world should be, man. You should just you judge people like based it, off their character. Man. Man. That's how it should be. Yeah. Right, because that's what we the, can control. The content of their that's character. That's what we can control. The content that they carry. And right. you know the funny we shit? All part. these uh all these 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 racist apologists, these white apologists for the racists have been quoting all the motherfucking MLK quotes, but they don't quote the shit that's relevant. <laughs> I bet they have. They love to throw out a little that. MLK quote, but they don't I bet they have. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> let me see if I can find it. Yeah, th- I'm okay, so, daughter. Uh, they keep... <laughs> oh yeah, Bernice. Yeah, she um she actually tweeted a couple of days ago, and it said, "Don't act like everyone loved my mm-hmm. father. He was assassinated." A 1967 poll reflected that he was one of the most hated men in the world. Yeah, he was hated. Many who quote him now and invoke yeah. him to deter oh. justice would likely hate him and may already hate the authentic king. So, uh, his own door was like, stop using my dad's shit to try to right. stop this, this shit. Because y'all don't even fucking like him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't even All fucking right. like him. They never did. Well, this is the same like man him. that they right. this is the same like man him. that they parents 
their grandparents and some of them that are still alive hit with fucking rocks, threw bottles at, water hose this man, mm -hmm. beat on this man, mm -hmm. beat on the people that was with him, hit the people that was with him with rocks, sick dogs and shit on this man. They know how to fucking write the quote. Yeah, see, we've been through that. Especially for their yeah, benefit. We've been through that, Fuck huh? that shit. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not you, rapper. <laughs> these experiences, 99.998% of white people would never have to go through. Right. So that's that's why most of them, right. they, they won't it's never have to go through the shit. Right. I've been meaning to watch the video. See, and that's why there. when I told y'all, Go ahead, Tom. No, I was gonna say they even they even said Martin Luther King essentially rescinded his um, "I Have a Dream" speech, pretty much saying that it was naive and that he felt he may have led his people into some shit yeah. that that isn't worth it. It's gonna blow up in their day. You know what I'm saying? All right. So yeah. All right. Yeah. So his last and then he was, then he was assassinated speech, like three months later. <laughs> um, yeah. So his last speech, and I, I could be wrong about it being his last like speech or whatever the case. But it was a speech I seen that when I seen the caption was it was his his last speech. Um, he was in like a room. It wasn't even like a fucking big ass like I have a dream type podium. Shit. Yeah, so he was in a room. It was a monologue. He was pretty much talking about how since they didn't want since they hate black people that much and they don't want us there, we should take our money out of their communities. We should take our money and we should take our resources away from them and go somewhere. In America, out west somewhere, build our own shit, our own hospitals, our own schools, our own grocery stores, our own everything, our own ecosystem, pretty much. And he got smoked. They killed him after that. Mm. All the marching and praying was cool. As long as y'all motherfuckers were still spending y'all money with us, <laughs> as long as the black, this is how the white people think. As long as y'all, as long as they were still spending their money with white people, as long as they were still, that black dollar still circulated, they didn't care. Is when he was talking about taking his money, taking the black dollar out of these white communities that didn't want us there. We won't even be segregated yet because he was still alive. So we still we still segregated. They didn't want us around them. We can't drink out of the fucking water fountains that he drinking out of. We can't eat with them. We got to go to the fucking the back of restaurants and pick our food up by dumpsters and shit. I don't understand why the fuck we were supporting these businesses anyway. They don't even fucking season their food. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> don't stop the food. Hey, look. Hey, look. Check it out. I got a white co driver. I guess he had enough. You know what I mean? Y'all niggas see that nigga S in the stage left. Slam the door hard, too, like this. Look. <laughs> look. I don't give a fuck. You hear me? Look. You go hear this. You gonna hear this. You if you don't feel me, you are out. Speaker, nigga. <laughs> right. You gonna hear this. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Hey, look, now, I, I, nigga, hot dog I seen him. <laughs> <laughs> we don't hate white people. We just hate the white people that hate us. Uh, that's the thing. We don't hate. God, but don't. see, but that, that right there lets us know. And I hate like, police. Why does shit make I you so police. uncomfortable? When we talk about racist white people, why does it make, if you're not racist, the shit, it shouldn't be uncomfortable to you. Right, because I know mm -hmm. I'm not racist. So I'm saying, I'm going to say the real. I don't give a fuck what you talking yeah. about. All right, nigga. My, look, look, shut up. My my son has a white mother. You, you dig? You know what I mean? And she know what time it is. She know I ain't playing no games, nigga. You know what I mean? You feel me? I was at yeah, the red light, some random know white what time dude. It is. Look, the red light, some random white dudes pulled up on me, some young kids having fun. Just wanted to play a random game of rock, paper, scissors at the light. Nigga, I went to shit because it was random, it was fun. I was mad that I lost. I shouldn't be losing to white hey, people nigga. at a time like right. this. But come on, bro. Like, for the culture, you should have won. Like, how the fuck you? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was mad that I lost for the culture, but <laughs> you know what hey, what'd I you pick? What you pick, bro? Paper, man. I picked paper. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Mm -hmm. See, that's why you lost. You just 
What color? You just jump straight into the stereotype because they all, they all <laughs> black people think about is money. It is what I was thinking about, man. Cutting the bullshit. Cut the bullshit. Cut the bullshit. I ain't staying solid. I should have picked the car. Look, we oh. solid as a rock, bro. Rock. Yeah, that's why I said I should have said solid. You should have picked rock and threw the shit up like this. Damn. You should have picked rock and threw the shit up just like this, bro. <laughs> and smash that shit like we. Yeah, what well, do you think about it? <laughs> nah, that's dope, though. That's what I'm saying. I would have been with the shit, too. I you did. It was just mad random as fuck. Right. Right. I would have yeah. been with the shit, too. I like shit like that, to be real. Yeah. And would have been mad I lost, too. Like, God damn it. Yeah, yeah, I was mad. <laughs> I can't, I can't fucking believe this shit. <laughs> well, because you think it's the next real life. Like, hold on, we gotta run this back. <laughs> we gotta run this back. Right, run it back. Nah, back. Pull, pull over into the Seven Eleven over here, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Best two out of three. Best two yeah. out of three. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But see, I, I do like, I do like to see uh, awakenings from certain people, man. Oh yeah, I, I do like to yeah. see awakenings from certain people. Yeah, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna speak by name. Can't know who I'm talking about though. But, um, cause this young man has seen the fucking light. But it was at one point that me and Kel thought we was gonna have to fuck a certain <laughs> a certain person that we cool with up because yeah. he used to be on some real like what we looked at as some real super Uncle Tom shit. Like, I mean, extremely like Uncle Ruckus, like he was going yeah, in. And every yeah, time yeah. this nigga would post some shit, I would get on the I'll get on the jack immediately. Bro, what are you doing? What you what did that post you? What you what you talking about? He's like, oh, blah 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 this. I'm like, nah, bro, you 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 completely wrong. You take that shit down. Like you need to stop wrong. that. Stop that shit. You know Mixed kid. Mixed kid too. So it's just like the nigga just he never he never wanted to see the the the, the, the world from the eyes of, of his black side. But mm-hmm. now my nigga. Oh yeah, he get it. No, he get, <laughs> he he get it now. You know what I'm saying? And and when he told me his background and you know what I'm saying, because you know he grew up here, you know, yeah. you know, white mother or whatever, or white dad. I'm not really sure, but you know what I'm saying. He told me his background, how he grew up, and then I understood why he had that point of view. But you know, instead of me getting mad with him, I just like look, let me educate you on what how the world really yeah. sees you. Right. You know what I'm saying? They don't well, see you as now, a mixed right. man. They see you as a black man. That's what they see when they see you. They yep. don't see a mixed man. They now, see a black man. Uh-huh. Now I see this nigga offering to run a fade with any black person that ain't down with the cause. Like, uh, yo, 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 you seen that? Yo, you see that? Yo, yo, he on, yo, he on it right now. He like, yo, you know what I'm saying? If you not down yeah. for this shit, if you not down for our people supporting it, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm it's on site. And I'm like, all right, yeah, I can fuck with that. I can fuck. I've been having a few conversations with a couple white people who who have changed their perspective on shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm they weren't they weren't racist, but they didn't fully understand it, and they didn't agree. Right, right, and right. I started right. presenting yeah. them with facts and numbers, yeah. and they started asking questions. We had real dialogue, mm-hmm. and at the end of it, they were like, "You know what? It makes it makes a lot more sense now." Yeah. So I respect that. If you don't understand, ask. There are plenty mm-hmm. of us who are willing to have great conversations mm-hmm. with you. Yeah, like the show that I was telling y'all about. She just asked me. That's why I respected that part because I feel like in that part itself showed your your genuineness to want to be able to do the right thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You know, you know, I had I mean? a, I had a, um, I had a friend of mine reach out like that. He hit me on a message. He was like, look, man, sorry. I've been kind of disconnected from the world for a minute, but, um, uh, you know, I'm not black, man. I can't say I understand, you know what I'm saying? How y'all, what, what pain y'all community is going through right now. But if there's anything I can do to try to help, you just let me know. You know what I'm saying? I said, bro, you coming and reaching out to me is already help. You already helping yeah. by keeping an open mind and coming to me and reaching out. You already on the right path as it is, instead of just writing dog to, oh, these people are just causing trouble. You know what I'm saying? You could have easily right. just been on that mm-hmm. on that tip. Cause I know for a fact that he has family members that are on that type of shit. Family members that are on some, yo, these motherfuckers are just agitators and race baiters and all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm gonna create a, uh, I'm gonna create a checklist for all the white people who wanna know what they can do to help. And yeah, you go you down go. the checklist and make sure you're doing this shit. If you're yeah, doing this yeah. shit, I feel like you're doing all that you can. We cool. And I, and I, we just, we just need a standardized checklist that all black people can send to them. Just this is what you. Yeah, need. and I, and I, yeah. I tell them the same we shit. Should start a, like, we should start a fight club for white people to beat up racist white people. <laughs> what? 
There you go. Yeah. There you go. First rule Start of white a fight, fight club. club. <laughs> where, where all the fucking the white people who ain't racist to beat up racist white people. Mm-hmm. And if the racist, well, they better beat them up. Them. They better fucking win. Yeah, we're going to jump them. You know we do. Gonna, you don't win, you're going to the not fuck out. Lose. <laughs> you know how we do. If you don't do it, there ain't no one-on-one night. Um, yo, I don't know if y'all been seeing these posts and shit, man, since this protest and shit been happening, man. But it's these posts that um a lot of white people have been posting, which is uh, um Martin Luther King showing him marching. they like, this is what a we protest is. About it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, y'all were just talking about that? Oh, yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, it's funny yeah, how they try to... just talked about how they use his quotes at their convenience. Yeah, they trying to hijack his legacy and shit. And I saw somebody comment on that shit last night on Facebook. They were like, yeah, I, lo- I love Dr. King. I support what he's doing. What these people are doing is a shame. And, da, 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 da. and I responded to him and I was like, first of all, you know, get the fuck out of here with that. You love Dr. King. Y'all hated that man. Y'all hated the this country hated Dr. King. And the same right. shit y'all saying about Black right. Lives Matter now, about them being agitators and race baiters, the that was the same thing shit y'all was saying about him <laughs> back in the day. And y'all hated that man so much, y'all sick the FBI on him. Come on, yo. And then the FBI, what was it, like right. last year or something, they had the nerve to tweet out happy Martin Luther King birthday, some shit, and people got on their ass. They like, how you gonna say happy birthday to somebody that y'all were actively trying to sabotage? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You y'all were actively got, y'all trying to sabotage. Yeah, exactly. Come on, yo. Fuck out of here with that what shit. You talking about? Yeah, his daughter bought that shit up too. Hey, boy, they, yeah, they, they really, really on man. it. They really on it trying to trying to hijack that man's legacy. Basically, you want us to be on some turn the other cheek, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shut the fuck up, protest, right. but I don't want to see it type right. shit. That's all I said. Black, right. Look, black people need to stop being so forgiving. And before, I, let me preface this, because oh, we say white people a lot. And when we say white people, we mean the racist white people. We want y'all to know that. We got to talk about all white That's people. why I just say white America. Yeah. So just to get that out there. And I will, yeah. So just to put, uh, all of us mean that. Right people. But black people need to stop being so fucking forgiving, yo. We are so quick to turn the other cheek. We so quick to say, oh, what well, the Bible says, forgive. And, like, you can't, you got to stop being so forgiving at some point in life. You mm-hmm. have to. We got to. You can only turn the other cheek for so many times. You know, you know, and you know what, you know what, you know why motherfuckers are so forgiving? Because, because the idea that's been planted, it's been planted of the hope. It's like it's it's the idea of like if we do this this way, it's going to help, and eventually it's going to turn around. Eventually it's going to turn around. The hope of that happening. You know what I'm saying? We just move like this, forgive them. Eventually, they're going to have a heart, and they're going to realize what they're doing. No. Now, the hope of that is gone in our eyes. We like, man, no, we're going to change until we change. You know what I mean? Now, change is right here down the street. You hear me? That shit pulling up on your block. You know what I'm saying? True. Change is down the street to a block near you. George Floyd's brother got on on the news talking about, you know, this ain't going to bring his brother back and stop the looting. And somebody and, posted, like, is this go- are y'all going to stop now? And I was like, no, nigga, because unfortunately, this is bigger than just him. Yeah. Well, not only, not only that, like, what, 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 like, the situation that happened with uh, the brother in uh, Dallas, what's his name, Botham John? Um, yeah. Like, when his family was on that super forgiving shit, that shit made me hot. I ain't even gonna fret. That shit made me hot. Other people in the courtroom and shit. In the courtroom hugging bitches and shit that lit your brother up while he was sitting in this house minding his own fucking business. Now, do I think that... Do I think that girl was maliciously saying, I'm gonna go kill a nigga today? No. But you did it. You know what I'm saying? You killed somebody in their own motherfucking home. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have to forgive you. Yeah, I'm not forgiving you. You executed my people because you saw a big black man got scared and decided you wanted to fucking kill him. You know what I'm saying? You didn't even get that man an opportunity to tell you, hey, bitch, you in the wrong apartment. You know what I'm saying? You executed him on sight. You know what I'm saying? It's, so all that forgiving, a... kissing, no kissing their ass, oh, we forgive you, we need to heal the nation, our man, fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? That's, the only time, that. that's the only time we should turn the other cheek to tell him kiss our ass. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. It's been implanted in us that if we don't forgive, it'll block our blessings. That we can't live a peaceful life or we can't go about life. I don't believe that shit. Man, man Ross, Ross said peaceful. this shit the best. What Ross say, man? God forgives. I don't. I ain't got. I don't gotta forgive a fucking thing. Yeah, man, my life. Is, his life is still okay. 
I, 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 um, I, I put it like this with most people, man, when it comes to that forgiveness and turn the other cheek and don't, um, don't, you know what I'm saying? Try not to, uh, take this shit, you know what I'm saying? To heart or get mad about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's a tactic, man. That's a tactic to keep you docile. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's all that is. They just don't want, they want to keep you docile. They want to keep you, uh, um, you know what I'm to the point where he's like, yeah, we, 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 we're, we're okay. We're friends. Let's unite and, and I'm not saying there aren't allies that are out there to help or whatnot, but a lot of times when these people are trying to tell you to turn out the cheek and shit, that's just, look, we get what you're saying, nigga, but we don't want to hear it. Shut up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shut up. Go sit down. Get over, somewhere. It. Get over, get over it. it. Yeah, get over it. We don't want to hear that shit. Go sit your ass down somewhere. We cool. And like I said, as far as that, these people going out and just like kissing these people's ass and trying to be forgiving and right off the bat, you know what I'm saying? Nah, man, at some point, you, you got to protect yourself. And I was telling my brother the same shit, which is these white supremacists, like the real white supremacists in this country, they laugh when we out there peacefully protesting and marching and shit. Because yeah. for them, for their life for them, they can't understand why we ain't turned up yet. Because they know if it was them, they would have been on they some gonna killer go. shit. They going to go hard on some killer shit. They look at us like, like they, 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 a lot of them is ready to die about this shit they believe in. Exactly. They ready to die about. They ready to blow up buildings right. and shit about the shit they believe They're in. They coming with AR-15s. Exactly. But they looking at I us. I want to go like, to the protest strap like that. Like we out here. What? Yeah, Bulletproof yeah. vest, AR-15 handguns, we out here. Yeah, they, they they looking at us laughing. They like, hey, look, yo, these niggas don't get it. They out here chanting and marching and shit. We don't care about none of that shit. That shit funny. You gonna keep but, marching and chanting when we killing y'all? That's what you're gonna do? Okay. The issue is right. they can they can go out there like that and they won't get shot at. Mm-hmm. Then we go out there strapped like that, it's, it's bound to be a war that night. Because them niggas not scared of them niggas. Yeah. They scared and of they don't have to be. Mm-hmm. They scared of us without it. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I mean? That shit was built on fear of us without it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, we're naturally a threat to these motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Just naturally, the way we made. Mm-hmm. And I can't help it that I look like I'll beat your ass, because I will. I will. <laughs> <laughs> I don't just look like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? wrong with you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, don't, I don't just look like this. <laughs> right. Push me. Yeah, yeah, that, and that's what it is, bro. Like you know, and you know, Ja, he know me. I know, you know, what I'm saying I ain't really met either one of y'all, but y'all know me, man. Ja knows me. I'm a real laid back, real cool individual. You know what I'm saying? And I try to keep it cool with everybody I run into. If you got a, you know, we got a good vibe going on, ain't no problems. But as soon as you start in with that dumb shit, you say some racist good shit, vibe, you say some, you know, what I'm saying all that shit is over, my nigga. I ain't talking to you. You know what I'm saying? Right. You ain't talking no more. Right. You going your fucking mouth. Fuck all that stupid yeah. shit. Yeah, but that's the thing, bro. So. You and Doc, Doc, what you, six what? Six two. Six two. At least two fifty. Two thirty five. That's what's okay. I gave you more because I'm two fifty and I thought you was bigger than me. I need to lose weight. And uh, no, no, uh, no, Kel, no. I was, I was two weeks ago. Okay. And Kel, you six, six, six seven, six seven. Six, seven? God, that's it. what I'm saying. So, that's what I'm saying. So <laughs> niggas, yeah, niggas used to think I was a rapper or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this, uh, me and this nigga be so weird, dog. This nigga, they thought I was a rap. They thought this nigga was my security guard. Yeah, especially because I wear all black all the time. Y'all see what that shit I got on black shit? All I wear is all black all the time. I'm <laughs> six, seven. Me too. Oh, nigga, I oh, thought you yeah. did this for the episode like I did. <laughs> I'm not, bro. I'm bullshitting, bro. I'm bullshitting. Yeah, but no, nah, yeah, I'm, but, I'm six, seven, 308 pounds, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm a big dude, so I know I'm intimidating yeah. people, but you know, I, most of the time I keep it real cool. But if you, you want that action? You want to start some dumb shit? We can do it. Right. Do it all week. Yeah. Okay, fuck. And that's, exactly. I, 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 I brought that up yeah, I for that I reason. Yeah. And Kyle, not you might intimidate me. Well, you six not, one, I would right? fight you. Yeah. You're six one? Six one three hundred. It's like, no, I'm saying? We need to be out there together. <laughs> hey, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but that's the thing. So, niggas see us. We could be in the best of moves, but they gonna look at the statues like, oh shit. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? Obviously, mm-hmm. I'm not as melanated as y'all, but I'm six foot nothing, two fifty. Yeah. Like they, yeah, they, they like, still I'm gonna not look, no small nigga myself. Now yeah, I'm they saying? still, it's they still like, gonna look at you like you. They still gonna look at you the same way. They gonna be like, you oh, got drink. Nigga, nigga. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> you got that's that. it, yeah. And, yeah. and I've had it to the point where like two two places of employment. 
I've had multiple coworkers go to management and tell them that I intimidated them or management told them to tell me something and they told me they can't because they feel like I'm unapproachable. Never had a conversation with two of these people. I'm not surprised by that. Me neither. I ain't surprised And it's just like, I mean, I'm not approachable, but don't just fucking assume I'm not approachable. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) 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 Straight up. Yeah. 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 But, you know, I I had somebody, man, years ago, man, when I was, you know what I'm saying, my first year in college, man, I had a dude, he was in a class with me. And uh, we had two classes together, matter of fact. And... Mm-hmm. You know, in one class, we actually started talking to each other and whatnot. And he, he really, he came out, he was a Hispanic dude. He came out and he admitted, he was like, yo, man, I got to be honest with you. Like, when I would see you in another class, man, I was, like, scared to say anything to you, man, because, you know, big, huge, black, you know, I thought you fucked me up. I'm like, well, I would. You know, if you say something crazy to me, I would. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would. But now that you had a conversation with me and you see I ain't on no psycho shit, bro, I'm human. Just like you, my nigga, I got mm-hmm. thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Exactly, too, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, we people, bro. bro. We human, just like you. We have the same thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you say something crazy to me, yeah, more likely our community will come out of pocket, you know what I'm saying, and bust in your motherfucking mouth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we right. more likely to do that kind of shit because we're not just going for the... We bullshit. don't just we walk around bullshit. wanting smoke, bro. Yeah, yeah, but we don't want it, but we're not actively going out looking for it, but if you, you right. want it, you get it. Exactly. They think we just walking around here ready for a revolution every day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, bro. If that was the case, why ain't we been at this place? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Why ain't we been here? You know what I'm saying? Like, so, the, the thing case, is, no, it's not like that. When it's time to unionize or revolutionize, so can you imagine how much more Nat Turner could have did if those other motherfucking slaves didn't go snitch on them and tell them fucking white slave right. owners that it was about to happen? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, that, that, we, that's got a, that was fucked up. we got a lot of them now in 2020. I mean, obviously we're not on a Damn, on a dude. physical plantation no more, but we still motherfucking nah, we, we still there. Yeah, we still we we still on a plantation somewhere, and that's what we were talking about earlier. We got agents, man. We got and we see them like we see the visible ones. We see the ones on YouTube who who are always talking like conservative talking points, you know what I'm saying? Like that bitch yeah. ass nigga um Brandon Tatum, that you know, your bitch ass nigga uh uh Jesse Lee Peterson, that's another bitch ass nigga. And I and I stress that word, bitch ass nigga, because them niggas, they know what they're doing. Because a lot of them people, when they doing that, they not even they don't even believe half that that nonsense they saying. They only doing it because they mm-hmm. collecting the check. Cause they know there's an audience for racist people who want to claim they not mm-hmm. racist to watch that shit and be like, no, see, here's a black guy, and he agrees with my viewpoint. So I can't Yeah, you know who the fuck that black guy is? It's usually a fucking bitch ass nigga like Jason Whitlock. Eggs. And there you it's go. It's one of them. It's fucking one of them. Fuck, yeah, exactly. fuck him. I'm glad that fucking yeah, Fox yeah, Sports yeah. didn't um, yeah. didn't renew his contract. Fuck him. Fuck his livelihood. Fuck his views. Fuck the people who align with his views. And fuck mm-hmm. who love him. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's ex- when I saw that shit when they didn't renew his contract. I was happy, nigga. I hope you die broke. Fuck you. All that you fucking agent. tap dancing he did. Mm-hmm. Cause you, cause he an agent. Jason Whitlock, an agent. It's a bunch of them motherfuckers, man. Yeah. But it's also, but it's also ones on a on a um on a lower level, like on regular society level, like on our level that on some agent shit too, and they just don't want to. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to come out and really, really present how they feel. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm always weary of our people, black people, who are not speaking up. They're not saying anything against it, but they're not speaking up. You know what I'm saying? to support, you know what I'm saying, like Black Lives Matter or what's going on. They just staying quiet. And that really makes me look at you like, why are you so quiet? You know what I'm saying? Because you you quiet either, A, because you pussy and you don't want to share your opinion, you know what I'm saying? Because you scared of what it might do to your other white friends or whatever, or how they might feel. Or you still pussy and you know your opinion is fucked up and you're an agent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So... It's a it's a ton of them out there, bro. It's a whole bunch of them niggas out there. Yeah, Uncle Tom ass motherfuckers, bro. In, in the truest sense, straight up. It's no, just and, like, and I know I know we use Uncle Tom out of context a lot. Like anytime that 
somebody black kind of tries to align with somebody white or look at a different perspective, we throw Uncle Tom in there, but not all of them are, but motherfuckers like that, truest sense of Uncle Tom. Yeah. Well, capital T, capital O, capital M. Mm -hmm. Well, see, yeah, that's, and that's why I check people when they do, when they do throw that word around, when they just throw it off on somebody. Oh, yeah, that person's been Uncle Tom. That's why I do check them and be like, if it's not legitimate, I'm like, nah, don't throw that off on them people because that's not legit. That's just you being on some, you know what I'm saying? Just ready to throw that word out there to try to fucking shit on somebody. Yeah, just because you know they views don't align with yours. But Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they because you just don't agree with their views 100%. But if it's legit, yeah, by all means, yeah, nigga. Uncle Remus has, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> fuck out of here with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Tap dancing, man, tan, Moreland, and you know what I'm saying? These fucking minstrel show ass niggas that be out here going the fuck in. Like, yeah, it's sad, bro. <laughs> For real, bro. Some minstrel show, show ass some minstrel show ass <laughs> niggas out here, bro. And I be looking at these mm -hmm. niggas because I don't get it, bro. Like, I, I fuck with a lot of white people. You know what I'm saying? And people be like, shot. They shot how many white people I fuck with. And they, mm -hmm. and, and I'm still, I don't know, I'm not on no minstrel show shit. They know that. Like, <laughs> everybody that, that know me, they know that. They know, okay, there's only but so much. Don't say nothing crazy. Like, they don't warn their other friends. Hey, don't say nothing crazy. Right. Around <laughs> nigga, you're not with it. You know what I'm saying? You say something crazy, right. you drop the N word, you try to be funny, he gonna go at you. Don't do it. Yeah, you try to be slick, mm -hmm. try yeah. to be extra. Look, I'm gonna tell you like this, man. I don't know. That, that's for off air. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it didn't got real. You did. Mm -hmm. Just put it that way. <laughs> exactly. Hey, trust me. Real. Yeah, and I done been, I done, I done been there before too. I done been there before. Look, I, I'm not playing with off the strength because only because I don't carry myself. Like, I just wanted to get real. You know, I carry yeah. myself with the same respect that I require myself to get that. You know what I'm saying? So, when motherfuckers go left, left, niggas be like, okay. Mm -hmm. Nigger time activated. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nigger time activated. Because I got, like, I grew up, my, I grew up, the blessing of that, I grew up integrated. My mama had me around everybody. Asians, white folk, black folk, Chinese, European, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So the beauty of that, I got to see, like, people just going to be who people going to be. You know what I mean? Like, bad motherfuckers, ugly motherfuckers. You know what, I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just period. It's <laughs> motherfuckers, period. So, you know, and th that's why you said, you know, it's, it's, it's very vital that we uh say the specific type of white people we talking about because I don't want them mm -hmm. to change the narrative so, and try to twist this into I got a question anti white. Though. What's up? Because I, I just thought about um what we was just talking about. So yeah. where the fuck? Because I I haven't personally seen nothing. Um, granted, I didn't go seek out neither one of these people to. Mm -hmm. Because they should be in the front lines as they say they would be, but right. oh, I'm glad I'm glad you came, you came back right on time. So I've been here. Okay. So where the fuck is Umar Johnson and Polite and uh, what's the young boy? Uh, the oh. the Islam kid, the new kid oh. that wear the red bow tie. Um, I don't know who you talking about, but I, you I forget point. his name. The new the new you young kid. Um. The ones who pretty much said they all they're gonna be on the front lines and some shit pop mm -hmm. off. I haven't seen anything mm -hmm. from any of them. Now, granted, yep. like I said, I'm not saying they haven't done anything, but it definitely has not been on a large scale because I've been what the fuck I've been following all this shit and I have not seen nothing from none of them yet. What the fuck is Oprah? You quiet now, Oprah. Where, I, Oprah never got shit to say. Fuck Oprah. Oprah's not. Right. Oprah's never. Don't right. ever look for Oprah to defend us. No, I'm not looking That's for. Not it. I'm just saying, it. like, I'm just saying, like. The, the point made that I mean we already know, but the point made mm -hmm. like when we when niggas be coming at her when she do her shit, they be like, "This is why, bro." Mm -hmm. Niggas think because because females be jumping on her back, you know, trying to you know sometimes the female culture try to gain back to them and mm -hmm. think niggas just be extra. Nah, like where y'all got influence? That's why I be yeah. mad. Y'all got influence, cuz major influence. Like the shit, yeah. like oh, and like, but like you said, not to just deviate from what you were talking about. Where is Mister? That's part of the white man's plan. You know what I mean? 
<laughs> Kyle, where the fuck where, is your cousin at, man? Right, where, where your dog at? <laughs> he out looting. He out looting in Philly, fam. Give him time. He had to get his shit off first. Hey, that nigga went to the forget, time. Y'all forget he's still a nigga from North Philly. Like he went and got his shit off. <laughs> But yeah, I, I haven't seen much or, or or anything, honestly, from. Hey, what was, was the wildest? What was the wildest shit y'all seen these niggas do during riots, though? Niggas try to move a bed, bro. Niggas try to take that king size California looking bed with two people at the end, one at the end, one at this end. They moved it two feet and then stop, drop the bitch, put the hands on the hips. <sighs> like, yeah. where you going with the bed, huh? I seen these niggas leaving out the bank with the vault and a forklift. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I hope I hope I'm wrong. Like I said, I'm not I'm not attacking these brothers. I'm not attacking these brothers. I don't always align with their views. Well, shit, if anybody follow the show, they know <laughs> that we don't always align with fucking Umar and them views. Oh. I'm not attacking them. And if they have and if they have been vocal, and I just haven't seen it because I haven't motherfucking recently. You talking about you talking about Umar Johnson? Yeah. Yeah. We ask where have they been? Like during all this debacle, but like I said, they might they hey for all I know they might have been doing the motion. It just ain't motherfucking hit no uh, platform. Yeah. Well, I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know about. Seen, so. I don't know about Umar. I know um Tariq Nasheed they're speaking out about that shit. Um, but I ain't I ain't heard nothing about Umar. I don't heard Tariq. You know what I'm saying? He been speaking about it and whatever. But um, matter of fact, Polite did say something. I'm, I I take Polite name back out of that because he he definitely spoke up. I did see a little. Uh, some shit he put up. I mean, I haven't, I ain't seen him in the streets. But like, I fuck, I fuck know. with some of them niggas. But a lot of times, man, them niggas be on some clown shit, man. They be on the yeah. when they get to arguing with each other and shit like that. And you know, what I'm saying that shit's counterproductive, my nigga. That ain't helping us. You know, what I'm saying that's just right. making us look like right. yeah. look like clowns who can't come to an agreement or come to an accord mm-hmm. of what we need to do for our people. You know, what I'm saying then they start in with them mm-hmm. little videos where they start doing like corny little. Want to be rapper diss records towards each other and shit, and it's like, bro, that's what? Shit. I'm out of here with that shit. Uh, nobody shit. For real? I ain't gonna lie, nigga. Nobody shit was better than Umar shit. Yeah. Oh I'm no. Glad no, I'm no, in my bubble. No, don't. Dude, you, right. <laughs> yeah. I never fuck with you anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nigga had, yeah. Nigga had ether playing in the background. Dog. Yeah. I've yeah. never seen no man, shit like that in my playing. life. Yo, yo, look, 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 look. I, I'm not gonna lie. Watch that shit, yo. Like, look, like, I'm, I'm gonna see you. I'm gonna see you the video, bro. He had ether playing in the background. Don't. I don't want to hear. Yeah, yeah. Dirty yeah. yeah. nigga. Dirty <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Never fuck with you anyway. Never fuck with you anyway, bitch nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, this, 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 pop, this popper nigga. This popper nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, nigga you, 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 the, you the prince of the king, nigga. The king. Yeah. 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 Shot, man. Yo. Man, man, I got to admit this shit. On. That shit was funny, though. I ain't, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That I, shit was I, I funny laugh. as hell. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. I laugh. I that laugh. shit was funny as hell. That was the funniest shit ever. But, you know, at the end of that, I was still thought, okay, this is counterproductive, it's my nigga. Like, what you purpose, doing right man. now? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not helping right now. Why are you defeating the purpose? You're taking value and power out of the proper words you say. Exactly. So when you want you some value, you know it. right? Yeah, exactly. When you want some shit, when you kicking knowledge, you devalue that shit when you get up there and start right. acting like you soldier boy beefing with Bow Wow. You know what I'm saying? Let the fuck out of here with out. that shit. You can take you know the nigga out the hood, but you can't take the hood out the nigga. Yeah, man, like, man, that facts, shit facts. corny, man. He didn't stop that shit. No, he didn't stop. And that's why his his perception changed, too, to a lot of people, man. Niggas be like, man, that nigga, that nigga be speaking for 30 seconds. Nigga be like, oh, here you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they got videos go. where they just, they got videos where they just going in oh, on that, man, like, just, shit, just making fun of his contradictions and all this little goofy shit he be mm-hmm. doing. But... And a lot of times, some people, not I'm not saying just Umar Johnson, but, you know, Polite and, you know what I'm saying, Professor Black Truth and all these other motherfuckers, I feel like some of them dudes just be out there trying to catch them uh, speaking engagement fees and shit. They don't give a fuck. They just right, out there right, saying right, whatever yeah. they want so they can catch some dollars. Right, you know what I'm right. saying? I mean, yeah. And well, I'm not, saying, should they, yeah, I'm not and, saying they shouldn't get paid. that's your thing, yeah, yeah, that, that's what I was going to say. If that's your the thing, then there. just don't exploit it. Yeah. Don't, don't pander. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because... Every, at the end of the day, no matter what any of us <laughs> do, what, what any of us do, a mutual this nigga not laughing loud as <laughs> he watched that he watched that Umar <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, why are you sending that shit, man? Oh, that God. shit is hilarious. <laughs> but no, um My bad, bro. Go ahead. 
But now at the end of the day, all of us want money, regardless yeah, of, of what it is. Like, nigga, a doctor, a doctor probably does what he does for the love of helping people, caring people, saving people. But I'm sure this mother, he he's not gonna not want to get paid. He gonna want to keep his lights on. He gonna want to know what I'm saying. So it's like every occupation gets paid. So I mean, I understand that. But when it when you start pandering. And you getting paid from the same people that you're not doing nothing to contribute to help. And that's your mission. If yeah. your mission right. is for you to motherfucking help the people, right. then it's different. No nah, facts. If you standing in solidarity with black people and you getting this black dollar, but then when some black shit get thick, you not there, then motherfuckers got all rights to say fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why y'all bands? Why y'all bands on the video? Like, you should never cancel me. Never cancel me. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't care. laughs> well, told you. Right. When I first seen it, I was like, "Who the fuck is Kyle beefing with? Why the fuck is Kyle rapping?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always tell him he looked like that nigga. Them niggas is cousins or something. They related. Yo, somebody. that's some funny shit, man. Yeah, you oh, seen the man. you seen the Philly come out that nigga real quick. You, right. see, you seen real. the Philadelphia come out that nigga real quick. <laughs> that nigga man, stop. Don't do that no more, y'all. I'm shocked he didn't say dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> At some point in the video, I'm shocked he dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wait. Shit, boy. Oh. But yeah, man. Um I guess we go ahead and start wrapping up. Any uh, any 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 last or final thoughts anybody want to get across? Yo, I'm more proud of my people than I ever been in my life, man. It's all love. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the vibes. You know what I mean? I'm letting look. I'm letting I'm letting black on black be fade to an extent. You got it. You know what I'm saying? You got it. You mad? You press? You got it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> to the next episode, you know what I'm saying? But True. right now, True. my tunnel vision, you know what I'm saying? It's bigger than me. Yeah. It's, you know what I mean? So my tunnel vision is it's for my grandmas looking down. You did? Like, mm -hmm. so my kids looking up. You did? Like, straight up. True. <clears throat> That's what it should be about for all of us. You know what I'm saying? Like, we doing this, it's bigger than us. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And we doing it together. You know, more more now than we ever had, for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's, that's I feel like we need to focus more attention on that. Motherfuckers be trying to talk about what we doing wrong in this shit. We're doing a lot of things right. Mm -hmm. For real. Yeah, you know exactly. What I mean? We're doing a lot of shit right. And let's, let's keep that positivity on that. That's all I got to say. Yeah. Hey, Kyle. I mean, I mean, just to touch on what um what homie said is uh true, man. I'm I'm proud of my people, man. Like we we really turned up this fucking time, bro. For real, you know what I'm saying? Like motherfuckers well, yeah. really turning up. Everybody's everybody on code, so to speak. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Is is it's a few little stragglers that's on some sucker shit, but everybody really out there, um, standing up for what's right. And like you said, it's bigger than us. It's even bigger than George Floyd. Of course, rest in peace to that right. brother. But it's not right. just mm -hmm. about that single person. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's about exactly. all these little incidents that happened over the last uh, how many years? You know what I'm saying? Before camera phones right. and all that shit. And right. I'm yep. just proud to see how people standing up um, and letting these motherfuckers know that this is unacceptable. You're not going to just sit back, protest for a little bit, let this shit go away, and then a couple months later, this shit happened again. Nah, that shit is over with and done. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You want to be out here killing us and letting these people get away with it, then we're going to fuck all your shit up. You know what I'm saying? We're going to burn this motherfucker down. You know what I'm saying? Because if we can't live, you can't live. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. All right. Agreed, G. You know, and that's that's as real as it get, for real. <clears throat> huh? Congressman Kyle? Man. I like the fact that we turned up. We can't stop, though. No. Nah. We can't stop. Now we gotta we keep gotta our keep foot on it. We gotta keep it's right it. around the corner, man. And it don't even necessarily mean when I say burn it all down, do I mean literally? Yeah, a little bit. 
But whatever really, context y'all taking. Yeah, whatever context you but you really got the whole system gotta go. The system mm-hmm. if that means properties gotta go for the system to go, then mm-hmm. that may be how it works. You know what I'm but we cannot take our foot off their necks. And uh, I would never incriminate myself on the camera, but I'm not just one of these people who's gonna be out here just saying this shit. That's true. I'm being the that's recorded on live because mm-hmm. I ain't doing no criminal shit on camera. <laughs> right. Somebody stole my phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody stole my goddamn phone. Do you believe that shit? So, nah, for real. Bullshit. Nah, but. Um, but yeah, uh, my shit is we, just. We, uh, oh. Sorry. Hold on, man. We got to. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't even know. We'll figure it out, though. We always do. This yeah, this one's just yeah. taking a little long for us to figure it out. We, we on our way, bro. We we'll on our way. It out. By any means. Yeah, and Lua, all this shit, my shit is just pretty much be mindful. Be mindful of where you spend your money. Be mindful of where you spend your time. Be mindful of where you place your energy. Because at the end of the day, the reason why I say that, because we all forget, you know, everybody's mad at the target. We looted the target and all that, but Everybody forgets that it was a motherfucking white owned grocery store that. Bro, you went muted, bro. Yeah, you went muted, cut. There you go. Yeah. It's, it, it, was a, it was a white owned grocery store that all this shit stemmed from. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So we need to be more conscious about what we spend our black dollar at, as a whole. Absolutely. We got to inform ourselves, too. We got to be informative. We definitely got to research. But that's the thing. So a lot of people. Um, Choose to chastise instead of teach. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. inform me, I'm with it. Yeah. Inform me, I'll pass it along too. Yeah. But on inform top of that, we need to be more teachable. Yeah. So I mean, you can't you can't teach the unteachable because it's like we gotta we gotta word shit in the way that motherfuckers who don't want to hear shit are forced to listen. Yeah, I think yeah, the man, times are forcing people to listen more than ever. Oh, it's coming. Of all in, the re- in the revolution, whether it's televised or not televised, the motherfucker's here. All right. That's all that matters. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Stay safe, my brother. Uh, oh, two yeah, weeks. Likewise, yeah. Likewise, likewise. Two weeks. Mm-hmm. Be so, mindful. Yeah. Two weeks. Boy. Hey, hey. We did. Real talk. Stay know. safe, my brother. We here with you. Yeah.